Alrighty, welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube watching this video later on for some Sultai mid-range. This is another donation deck. We got uh, our third one of the day here, viewer submitted list that looks pretty awesome. We have Hawkeye, my cat, joining here as well. He's getting some scratches. But what we got going on here is just basically a pile of really good cards. So I'm excited to play it. Um, you know, like the, some of the best cards in standard, Thought Erasure. Oko, Thief of Crowns, Murderous Rider, Questing Beast. Those are just some of like the very best cards in standards. So that's what we got kind of going on here. We got the goose, the gilded gooses that can help us fix our mana and everything. Um, for the late game, we got good removal between um, Assassin's Trophy, Drown in the Lock. Drown in the Lock is particularly, you know, very good real late in the game uh, for us there. Um, we have a soot for the aggro decks couple price of fame as a removal spell be interesting to see how this card does we're thinking about maybe like maybe this card should be Vraska golgari queen um as another option but you know we'll play these games see how see how the the card does i really like how it can just be a two mana way to destroy the questing beast sentence and speed and that surveil too is is underrated you know like why is thought erasure so good it has that surveil one adding surveil two there can really help you uh, set up to be able to make sure you keep hitting your land drops for these six mana cards or you know maybe you have too many lands you get rid of a couple surveil two is really nice so yeah we'll try out the price of fames there and then of course we have these uh really powerful six mana planeswalkers here at the top end um 26 land deck of course because we want to make sure we get to keep on hitting our land drops um and there we go. Our sideboard, just a whole bunch of interaction depending on what our opponent's playing. We got a couple Dreadhorde Invasion for control decks. We'll see if that's really worth it. I'm not a huge fan of the card, but it pairs perfectly with Oko. So if we can get that in play and have Oko, then, then the Dreadhorde Invasions are uh, really impressive at that point. Um, Thought Distortion is a really nice sideboard tech card here for Dance with the Man's Doom Foretold decks, Esper Doom Foretolds, uh, exiles all the cards in their hand, because they're all non-creature cards for the most part. Um, maybe they have Murderous Rider. And also exiles all the non-creature, non-land cards in their graveyard as well. So no more Dance with the Man's bringing stuff back. So there we go. This deck looks pretty sweet. Let's go ahead and give it a try. So with these donation decks, what we like to do is play them through a league. And that's how we got to this deck view is we're here in a league. We're going to play it till it either wins five or loses two, whichever happens first. So here we go. There we go. All right, uh, I got need to move the carrot. We are now playing Soul Time Mid Range. Hawkeye is watching along, helping out. Yeah, that's all we're missing here is Teferi. So I'm a little worried about my two mana removal being Drowned in the Lock and Assassin's Trophy, how those two cards are not cards that we want to play on turn two at all. I'm a little worried about that, to be honest. But we'll see. Thought we got Thought Erasure, which is an awesome turn two, and you know maybe maybe we're going with the Goose into a three drop sometimes. That was a really great draw step. So, so far they got one card in hand. Hey, what's up, Midnight? Thank you so much for that tier one sub. 
I appreciate that. That gets us to our first sub goal on the day. So yeah, this this card sleeve here, this was this was one that you could get um, at Twitch at uh, TwitchCon. They're giving away these. They're like you know they have codes for the the card sleeves there at, at TwitchCon, um, which is happening right now. I. I, of course, am not at TwitchCon. I'm very fortunate to have QQ in the chat here that sent me a code for the for the um, sleeves. And QQ also said that if we get to 20 subs today, uh, that that QQ will do a, a raffle for a giveaway and give away another pair of these sleeves here. to chat. So there we go. So if you want to help support me as a streamer, if you're enjoying the stream, and you know this is my full-time job and everything, consider hitting the sub button, and then if we get to 20, um, QQ will give, give out another one, another code there. Wendell, thank you so much. Wendell the gnome. I really appreciate that. So does Hawkeye. Okay, saying hi. So yeah, I really appreciate that sub there, Wendell. That gets us to eleven. And Fabian or Fabian, I guess. Fabian. Also, you are also a rock star there, Fabian. Thank you so much. What the what the sub goals normally do, what I do with them is um Oh yeah, let me get the hype votes in chat is we do a 12 hour stream every time we hit 20 total sub goals throughout different days you know some sometimes we hit some days we hit none but other days you know we hit we can hit one two three sub goals and whenever we hit get 20 total i do a 12 hour stream to celebrate we're so far that one that we just hit a little bit ago that's sub goal number 16 so we're only four away also from doing another 12 hour stream so we could be doing one of those in a few days also All right, so they got four cards in the graveyard, so this can counter something that cost four or less. Cat stream. Okay. Cat stream. Wow, Omaha, thank you so much. That is crazy. Thank you so much there, Omaha. You are so nice. Everybody get your hype out for our five new subs. Omaha gets it out. Five subs there. GG Branch. Uh, Just Drain the Shaman. Corsic Legend. Lord Boswell and... Bobby. Welcome to the channel, y'all. Hope you enjoy getting some gifted subs. Uh, let's see. I, I know I already have like two just only black sources, which is a little awkward. That we're getting a third only black source, but I think just a, a third of black mana is more important than um, a third green or a third blue. Okay. All right, Oko time. Unhinged basics are pretty good, too. Um, I like these new Throne of Eldraine lands for right now, but but yeah, there's I like um, yeah I like unhinged basics. Hmm. 
Yeah, Hawkeye's like passing through. Alright, get to counter this murderous rider. Yes, absolutely the Great Henge is playable. Absolutely. Absolutely. Surely you must be famished. All right, we're going to have Oko try to take over here. Uh, sorry to hate, or sorry, <laughs> sorry to hear that, Shafty. I hate those days whenever you kind of wake up and you kind of slept wrong and your neck is bothering you a little bit like those days. Yeah, this is where Drown in the Lock can really work out. It's in the late game here. Yeah, the Thought Erasure was really nice helping get more cards in the graveyard. That was a card that we overlooked at first here. I grace you with my lack of No. No go. Let's play a game of hide and seek. The huntsman. Stay on the trail. The huntsman. Garrick. All right, we'll sacrifice that creature. Put a counter on Garrick. Thank you. I have not played any Boros midrange with Outlaws Merriment. Nope, that is not a, a deck I have played at all. So we'll just trade, give them a 1-1. I can ultimate Garrick and... Whoa, JRC! Wow, thank you so much, JRC. I have... Um, what was I saying? I was saying, okay, so I could ultimate Garrick, but then, like, this 1-1 one, one could kill Garrick if I do that. Can Ritual set it away? Nah. I'm just going to play the Beast, make some more wolves, and attack. Okay, we hit our sub goal. QQ, do you have do you have a, a code? And like so basically are you ready for, for me to do like a giveaway? Kind of things we got to uh, this sub goal. Let me mark this down also on the info panel about <clears throat> the sub goal. So we're at 17 out of 20 now. We are close to that 12 hour stream. Oh, do they mood? Thanks thanks for the info there. I don't know. I honestly don't know how to to change the volume in the YouTube channel. I don't know what to do about that, honestly. Get some water. Talking too much. Deadlock B, welcome to the channel. Thank you so much there, Choco. <clears throat> Sub number 22 on the day. What's my opponent doing over here? All right, QQ, you're ready? Okay. All right, let's do a giveaway. Uh, no, Kaboom. I no, I don't know. I don't know how to do video editing at all. So no, I, I don't do any video editing. I've never done any video editing in my life. So I just, you know, I have like the recording that we have during the stream, and I just upload this recording, basically. <laughs> G 
give away a stream worn signs tie. That's not bad. That's not bad. Um, all right. So for our giveaway, let's see. Let's go with Garrick. All right. So you want to be entered in the giveaway for a code for these sleeves right here in chat. Type the word Garrick. Give y'all like a minute to do that. I think make sure make sure MTG bot says that the giveaway started before you start typing. Did MTG bot say the giveaway started? Did it work? I don't know if if MTG bot ever said that. I hope it worked. It should have worked. As far as we know. <laughs> you cannot run or hide. Oh, I wonder Ooh, I wonder if by doing that I'm going to hit there's like some Twitch goal that I don't have. Like they have like these weird like badges things. There's like some badge that I don't have. The only bad, like, there's only one badge, like, Twitch badge that I don't have, which is, like, a certain number of people talking at the same time, like, chatting at the same time, and maybe doing the give that giveaway there, we actually get there. Yeah, I need 200 people chatting at the same time. We've had 152, but I haven't had 200 yet. Maybe we just had 200 people chatting at the same time. A lot of people saying Garrick there. <laughs> all right so yeah giving y'all like another another minute yeah we got 1500 people in here so you got like a one a one in 1500 chance that's what everybody's saying just type garrick you'll enter to win a code for these sleeves you don't need the exclamation point just regular garrick that's all you gotta do. Yeah, it's a lot of Garricks. Okay. Um, so we played against mono black value stuff. I don't know if we really need to change anything. I don't love Assassin's Trophy too much, but it's not bad. Uh, could see playing Ritual of Soot instead. Actually, let's do that. Let's get an extra Ritual of Soot for like extra creatures that are kind of like around. There we go. Okay, is everybody in there? Is everybody said Garrick? I'll give you a give you till turn three you get three turns my turn three we're gonna end it got till turn three um yeah i think we can keep i like hitting land drops <laughs> Yeah, if we if we kill our opponent before then they concede, then we'll have to wait till the next turn three. Alright, are you a land? No, oh, you're not a land. But I don't get to really cast you at all anyway, so I guess you're going to the bottom. I really hope that this giveaway works, because I, I didn't see MTG Bot say giveaway started, which MTG Bot always says giveaway started, so I'm really hoping this works. It may not. That would be really sad. We'd have to try it again. <laughs> Garrick Hawkeye. That's the card that this deck doesn't have. We don't have any Legion's Ends. Could use some legions ends in here. All right, it's turn three. 
Yeah, MTG bot might have betrayed us. We don't know. Okay, five. Of course, I'm I'm behind with from y'all. But five, four, three. Of course, whenever I say three, this is like a while ago for y'all. Two, one. And go. All right. Did it work? Hopefully it worked. And MTG bot didn't troll us. No, it didn't work. Uh. Whoops. Is MTG bot just not working at all? Hmm. Yeah, MTG bot has been super slow. It did answer, did it answer like the deck list command? Yeah, my opponent's chilling over there with one mana trying trying to win this. I don't know why the vampire of the dire moon didn't attack. Doesn't that thing have death touch? Yeah. Hmm. MTG bot is down. No, but MTG bot's awesome. I think the knight had vamp summoning sickness, as far as I know. <laughs> okay, what's another way to do? All right, so if MTG bot's down, what's another way to do a giveaway? Anyone have ideas on another way to do a giveaway? <laughs> Roll a 1,500-sided dice. All right. I like Oko here. Make some food, food tokens to be able to gain life. If we're gaining life. I'll just block this knight. Magic that dances around you. Hmm. One bite, and all your this is kind of a nightmare. Hmm. Yeah, I don't. I don't have Nightbot. Hey, got a bunch of stuff. Is there like a website that does a giveaway for everybody in Twitch? Is there a website that does that? Yeah, my poor opponent never drew a second land. Hey, there you go. MTG bot's not working again. Back. MTG bot's back. All right, giveaway started. There you go. Okay, giveaway started. Sorry, we have to redo. 
Now type MTG bot. Don't type Garrick. Type MTG bot into the chat for the best bot. MTG bot's amazing. I'm a huge MTG bot fan. So don't type Garrick. It's not Garrick. Type MTG bot. You have until turn three of game two. Ginger Brute. So, game game two, turn three. And then we're going to be... So, what the giveaway is for, if you're just kind of joining, is these... Is a code for these uh, sleeves. That were from... Uh, TwitchCon. All you have to do to, to be entered is just type MTG bot into the chat. That is all. And I guess we'll do it whenever game one ends. During sideboarding. We'll do it during sideboarding. Revel with your king. Wild and sovereign and free. It's not poison. All right, we got Oko in play. Not exactly sure what we're gonna do with Oko yet, but Oko's in play. Well, I mean, we're just making some treasures. Hey, what's up, Fake? Thank you so much for that Twitch Prime sub. Bringing the hype here. Sub number 23. So hostile to the truth. We'll just go at the, at the end of the game. Give y'all enough time to get in there. Art fire. My cue to exit. No. No go. Wow, that's that was a shocking turn that my opponent just had. They have three cards in their graveyard. I'm going to hold up Drown in the lock here. Mm. Yeah. I wanted to I wanted to counter 3 mana Chandra. Like 3 mana Chandra like was the card that I really wanted to counter. Cavalcade would not have been bad either. But I guess we'll counter the Spitfire. Because <clears throat> Spitfire, we can kill with Price of Fame and Murderous Rider and stuff anyway. Ugh. No, that's what I wanted to counter last turn, Hawkeye. Anyone need a match? No. Too bad. Don't worry. I brought company. Okay, you want to be up here? You can be up here. I think we just murderous rider this or swift end the Chandra. Sleep for a week. Yep, Swift End gets to get the planeswalkers. Open your heart to the magic that dances around you. Surely you must be famished. Sacrifice of food. Play this murderous rider. Looks like we got this. Sure looks like we have it. To the feast. Okay. All right. So yeah, last chance. To type MTG bot before this game ends. 
into the chat. Excuse you, Hawkeye. Or bless you. That's what I meant to say. Sorry. Bless you. All right, a lot of Chandra's over there. The fabric of the multiverse obeys me. Um. It's not poisoned. Trust me. They are just going to keep on making food tokens. They can keep gaining life. So, of course, they can Chandra... Oh, they didn't kill the 2-2. Two -two. So they can make two one ones with Chandra, then heart fire one of them, but my Planeswalkers are above the loyalty am amount. Um, if they're just doing four damage to me, I'm gaining that life with this. Not to brag, but Could see Murderous Rider student. Uh, taking the four here. Okay, giveaway time. In five, four, I should probably start at 10 because y'all are behind. So by the time I actually say 10, it's basically like zero for this. So 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Man, there's too many people typing MTG bot. I need to wait just a sec, just a little bit for people to stop saying, to stop, ty stop typing. I need to make sure everybody can get in there. All right, definitely want these things. Price of fame seems kind of expensive. And Liliana, it's probably my worst of the six mana planeswalkers. Let's be down to 60. I guess Murderous Rider does, makes me lose two life, but it can kill Chandra and we can. All right, basically once people stop typing MTG bot, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this once people stop typing it. Yeah, but then the, the rider has lifelink. That's a good call. So yeah, that's what I was thinking. The, the rider has lifelink also, so. Okay, here we go. All right, the winner is Nathaniel Jesse. Nathaniel Jesse. Congratulations. You're here, right, Nathaniel Jesse? Yeah, there you are. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations. Look at the sleeve. So QQ should hopefully be whispering you here shortly with a code that hopefully works. Mask of Immolation and Shock. I think that Mask of Immolation, that thing can do a lot. Um... There's nothing really to do with trophy right now, but later on there probably will be. You know, if there's a cavalcade uh, being drawn, we want to be able to get rid of that. Yeah, the giveaway is these these sleeves. That was the giveaway. Yeah, my Dargo, I, I would recommend basically what my opponent's playing here. I would recommend Mono Red Cavalcade as a good be beginner deck.
Let's get a 2 3 lifelinker in here. I haven't seen very I haven't seen like any Field of the Dead since rotation really. Um so I'm not I'm not sure what like to say what you know your question is what counters Field of the Dead. I'm and I'm honestly not exactly sure what counters Field of the Dead because I just haven't been seeing any. So I know I'm trading Murderous Rider for the Footlight Fiend. I, I know we're doing that trade, but we can, you know, play a new one. Yeah, Unmoored Ego has a specific card, counters it. Yeah, Questing Beast doesn't get blocked by him. The R means that we're going to be playing that deck in Ranked later. We are playing a League right now where we spend our 1,000 gold for our entry fee. Okay. So we could pay two life for Murderous Rider, or we could just pay two life for Questing Beast. And I'll just pay two life for Questing Beast. That gets us this damage in there. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess I guess I'd have to I'd have to see like the the deck list and stuff, but yeah, usually. Usually against Field of the Dead, you want to be aggressive. But yeah, Unmoored Ego, of course. Um... The problem with playing Murderous Rider, of course, is that it basically makes my Ritual of Soda dead card. Uh, why don't we have Hydrocrasis in this deck? I don't know. Hydrocrasis is pretty sweet. I don't have a great answer for you there. This is a donation deck. So the donation decks are viewer-submitted decks. Here, so this is not a deck I put together. Ooh, that's a good card. Hostage Shaker rotated out. No more. No more Hostage Shaker in standard. Yeah, I don't know exactly where Hydro Crisis would fit in or anything, but it's it's a heck of a card. It'd have to like fit in over some of the six mana walkers. I suppose. Alright, we're 2-0. Our Soul Tide Mythics. Uh I don't think Black Lotus rotated out yet. It's still it's still in there. But it wasn't good enough. Yeah, Black Lotus. Not good enough. We didn't didn't put it in. Gonna make the cut. A mirror universe deck. Is that the is that the new. Blue mirror. So I can double shock to have turn three Oko. I kind of don't want to double shock against Gruel. then it's not only that, but then, then we kind of have nothing for the next turn after that. We'd have turn two Oko, but then we'd kind of have, like, nothing for turn three. I led with the Breeding Pool over the Scry Land because we didn't have anything, like, we really need to Scry for. 
and I knew I was going to be playing a tap land again the next turn. Probably a good card against Gruul decks. And so I wanted to have more information, wanted to get another draw step, you know, like if um, wanted to see what we had and everything. Usually best to save the um, the scry lands for as long as you can. Who's more foolish, the fool or the fool who rules? Your new look is enchanting. Opponent doesn't know how their card works. Mm, you're a tricksy one. Questing Beast is better than that. Um, I could just double trophy. Double trophy is the safest way to keep. Um, it's the best, it's the safest way to keep Oko alive. <laughs> Surely you see the humor here. All right, we'll just, we'll just do this though. Turn their beast into a 3-3. They can't have another beast. I mean, they can, but they'd have to sacrifice this one because it's still a legendary beast, right? I'd assume it's still legendary. Yeah, legendary creature elk. Ugh. Maybe we should have had double trophy. Fine. Remain blind. Poor Oko. <laughs> Questing Beast no longer has ton tons of text. It just said Legendary Creature Elk. So we got Gruul Mythics over here against Sultai Mythics. We'll, all we have are rares and a couple basic lands. So no cards that aren't rare or basic land. So far we're six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. We've played 12 rares or mythics. Let's kick this madness. I was raised by wolves. Add another one. Well, they might have also just been big dogs. Add another one. Murderous Rider, you're a rare, right? Okay, cool. We can play you. Not a single common or uncommon. We will rise again. Five basics, everything else, rare or mythic. Okay, that's a rare. Grab another, grab a mythic. I 
right, so do they top deck something that kills me or not? More rares. Yeah, and only rare lands. Who has more rares and mythics? Was that all four? Was that four questing beast? I trophied one questing beast. Yeah, that was four. We okoed one. We trophied one. We murderous ridered one, and then we um, blocked the other with questing beast. <laughs> Yeah, we would have been dead. Yeah, if, if my opponent knew how their questing beast work and they would have hit me for four earlier, we would have been dead. So yeah, we probably should have lost that. Okay, well, Disfigure doesn't kill rares, so we don't need that card. Trophy kills rares. Let's get that in. Um... Take out Soot. I have at least a, a couple uncommons. I'm I'm trying here. I got Noxious Grasp, Drown in the Lock, Thought Erasure, Price of Fame. I got a couple. What's the six drop that I'm dropping? I'm dropping a couple six drops. Is it just Liliana's? Uh, it's probably Ugin. Ugin Liliana. Garrick's minus is destroy a creature, draw a card. <laughs> yeah, we're playing for Ante. <laughs> playing for Ante over here. Okay. We have an uncommon. That could mean that we lose. Yeah, we could, we could definitely potentially cut a Drown with the Lock. Drown with the Lock, you know, if we get to that late game, could be awesome of, like, countering that haste creature um, off the top. What? My opponent's playing an uncommon? Whoa. I wasn't expecting that. I didn't think they had any uncommons. Because even the even land war elves is a rare now. You know, let's make your card draw spell a rare. Everything's rare. Look at this price of fame. Two mana, destroy questing beast, surveil two. All right, so there's two cards for drown in the lock right now. I think I'm gonna keep the drown in the lock. A price of fame <sighs> doing its job of course i could have drowned in the lock to the, the paradise druid but we're going to save it for something bigger that's rare yep that's the price you pay for being a legendary beast i'm a little surprised that that's not the name of the card nature will take back what rightfully belongs price of legendary beast
my, my, how you've grown. They gotta be sitting with like Veil of Summer, right? They're just not attacking. Uh, I guess this means though that. I'll return okay. with larger predators. We could drown in the lock to counter the Veil of Summer. Correct, Napstar. Yep. They have three cards in their graveyard? Can I count? Oh, I could counter this, but... Is that worth it to counter? No. Yeah, you can counter Veil. Why, why can't you counter? Oh, you're saying I can counter Veil. Okay, sorry. I don't regret this too much. This curse, this from it. Like we are the apex predators. They'd have to use Paradise Druid if they have a Hellkite. If they have a questing beast. That's a problem. Hopefully we get to untap with Garrick and then have all this interaction available. They could have had, yeah, they could have had Paradise Druid on D for Questing Beast. That could be a thing, too. I think I think they missed a land drop, I think. But maybe they didn't. Yeah, I think they did. So I was thinking maybe they wanted, like, the Druid for, like, second red and didn't want it to die. I've got better friends in the wild That hurts. Anyway. That hurts. Yay, Deckmaster updated. Yay. That definitely hurt. So four cards in the graveyard over there. All right, that's that's gonna take my counter spell. It's gonna be really annoying removal with these hexproof things. Hopefully, we draw another Garrick. Hopefully. Not bad. 
Don't you be. Can't get this. Th I can't get through this five four though. And I need to like empty my hand to start using this thing. I could just murderous rider the spellbreaker right now. No, I'm going to pass turn. <laughs> yeah, Drown and Lock's not a rare. So we've played two uncommons. My opponent's played one uncommon. And then Ambush is an uncommon also, right? Yeah, so they've played two uncommons. So it's two to two in the uncommon battle. All right, the codes from yesterday expired now. I, th I thought they, they lasted till tomorrow. I thought... I thought they last through the end of the day, but yeah, maybe. Okay. But I will delete this. Those are expired. We'll have to update the code command later as well. Make more food. Sack food to gain life. The cycle of life. Wow. It really is the cycle of life. Wow, it really is. Yeah, we just killed and ate a dragon. <laughs> that's that's exactly what happened. Um, one of them was Midnight Clock. One of them was Harmonious Archon, as far as the card styles. Um, I think one of them was Grum Gully. Hey, we did we did get that achievement. It just said on my Twitch, we got 200 people talking at the same time. Got that achievement. With the arc bow at my side, I can't lose a fight. Vivian's rough. Cool. Now I have like all of the achievements. Except for I think there's like a go to TwitchCon achievement, and I haven't done that. So that doesn't count. I think there's one more I'm not quite there with. That though. But I'll get there. My, my. How you've grown. <laughs> um, would I recommend this? Deck list. I mean, it depends on what we're recommending it for. I don't. I'm not sure if it's super strong or not yet. You know, we're only. I guess we're in our third match, but it's felt pretty good so far. Kind of want to make a food and eat a food. No, we'll just do this. Anger only gets me so far. I really wish I didn't cut the. I really wish I didn't cut the uh, ritual of soot right about now. Yeah, we got some. We got some Garrix in here. My opponent is just all gas all the time. Which which card? Garrick? Oh yeah. Yeah, Garrick is Garrick's awesome. The card is really good. I, our opponent killed it with the ambush. They ambushed it. 
Hey, thank you so much there, wizard. I appreciate that. Is Cauldron of Eternity the best 12 drop in standard? I bet so. I bet so. Um, depends on whether or not you count. Depends on whether or not if, if, if you count um, Hydroid Crasis. I'd say that's probably the best 12 drop. And then maybe Voracious Hydra up next. Uh, Gadwick. Gadwick's a really good 12 drop. They finally emptied their hand, and then I finally drew Thought Erasure. Garrick! Oh, wait! I can kill the Druid. I should probably do that. Right? Nah, I guess we don't need to kill the Druid. I'm going to save this for a Hellkite. Or do they have another ambush for this thing? Looks like you weren't fit to survive. Yeah, these are yeah, we're playing best of three. You can see we have one win right now. We're in game two, we're up a game. Gonna be a longer game with these geese making a bunch of food. Yay, no ambush. Yeah, definitely gonna attack with wolves now. Stay on the trail. Drown in the lock is a really good card. At this point in the game. Ten cards over there, so counter anything. It's going to take a while to win, though. Gilded Geese making two food a turn. And start sacrificing. Gaining life. You know, this could be 15 extra life here. And take a while. Can you drown your own wolf to old Garrick? Yes, you can. You can target your own stuff. So yeah, if it, if it comes to that, we would have that ability. So we take three there. But then we'll gain six back. All right, Garrett, just keep keep getting that loyalty. We 
more wolves. This is a long game. This is where you can see the power of Gilda Goose. You know, like we've we've been making a bunch of food over here, eating it, staying alive. You know, we've I think we've eaten like four Gilda Goose food right now, and so we're at thirteen instead of one. Yeah, food war. Um, I think that's okay. I don't think I need to counter that immediately. We're going to take removal for the goose. But I think that's okay. Because I, I would rather use... <clears throat> oh, I should have waited. I should not even have Noxious Grasp there. Because they may have attacked their two geese. And my Garrick. But that's that's fine. They have plenty of other things to sacrifice anyway. Yeah, the goose dies. But I I want to save the drown in the lock. There could be something, you know, like a a Domri's ambush kind of card. that would kill Garrick that I want to save my counter spell for. I don't need to grasp the geese. They do keep my opponent alive, but I'd rather grasp threats. They should have tapped the Paradise Druid. Oh, I guess they didn't want to tap the Paradise Druid for mana because then I could have killed it. Never mind, that makes sense not to, to tap it for mana before it dies. We are the Apex Predators. <laughs> yeah, it, this has a lot of text on it. It's one of the one of the cards with the very most text on it, besides the flip cards. It has so many words on this card. One of the very most you know, one of the most. If you're kind of newer, we got, you know, 1,800 people in here, a lot more than at normal. If you're kind of newer to the channel, um, this is what I do every day from 3 to 10 Eastern time, is play four different decks every day. And so we have a, a whole lot of fun here on the channel, just trying lots of different things, you know, seeing seeing uh, how everything works and everything, you know, just uh, playing standard and seeing all the cool interactions. Um, I, I think this has the exact same number of cards as Chains. I think I heard that, that it has the same number as Chains of Me Mephistopheles, has the same number of words as that card. Anyway, all the all of the videos go up on YouTube also. So you can check out youtube.com slash ToddStevensMTG. I'll put the link there as well. That's going to... Uh, it's gonna do some work. Not too much work though. Chains has more. <clears throat> I think the the original chains, not the Oracle text. I think I don't know. Yeah, I can. Yeah, we'll we'll see what happens like with with how my opponent taps and everything. We'll see we'll see what happens here. But yeah, I may I may kill two wolves, ultimate Garrick, kill a blocker. Yeah, I don't know if that was a, a fact with the chains thing that I said. That's that was just something I I thought I read, but I don't remember. I'm just going to keep going with the plan. I'm just going to keep going with the plan.
So. Okay, so they are activating that there. Uh, we'll destroy that. They don't get more growth chamber guardians. Again, still really valuing this drown in the lock. You agree with this play? Like, how um, how is our how's our opponent gonna like win from here? Like, what are they? What's their out? Oh, yeah, we're definitely going to be playing Historic for sure. Yeah, Historic, Brawl. Yeah, I like new formats and everything. Yeah, we'll be playing those formats. Certainly. Destroy this, ultimate Garrick, GG. I think I could have done that the, the previous turn as well. I probably could have. I didn't, you know, didn't quite do the math with like the, we, they didn't really have any outs. I didn't really take, take the time to count it up. There, you know, with food token sacrificing and everything, but we likely could have done that the previous turn as well. So we likely could have done that then. All right, Hawkeye, we're three zero. We're facing your favorite kitchen appliance, the refrigerator there. Yeah, yeah, game crash. That could happen. Drown in the Lock is actually working out really well for us. Um, I, It's working out better than expected. Um, I didn't expect it to really be working out this well. But yeah, it's working out really well. All right, so we got another Sultai deck over here. Because I was worried how it's, it's like a two-mana card that we don't get to really do anything on turn two. You know, it's only good in the late game, but... We've been getting to those late game scenarios reliably. And so it's been Open good. Your heart to the magic that dances around one bite and all your care. Um yeah, I think there's other Orzov stuff to be doing besides just knights with this set. Um Four Mana Soren is an awesome, awesome card. I want this Tomb Bound Lich. Tome, sorry. Tome Bound Lich. So I'm going to take it. But my Lich. I guess your lich now. Sure. 
Surely you must be famished. Oh, I guess I need to play the fa fabled, fabled. Need to play the fabled passage to have another black up. Could have countered that. I'm not sure if I should just sack the food token. I grace you with my lack of presence. No, I won't sack the food token. All right. Well, played the wrong land. Got punished for that. Could have had a counter spell to be able to protect Oko. So that that hurts that I did not. The undead make great minions. Loyal and oh, This looks like a fun new toy. Yeah, black white mid range. I wonder if there's enough for like a Hushbringer deck there. You know, you can have Hushbringer, Murderous Rider, um, Seraph of the Scales, Tithe Taker. That's a pretty cool animation. I hadn't seen this animation before yet. That's pretty cool. No, I like, yeah, I like the NFL. Yeah, putrid, but effective the Steelers are my team they're not doing so well this year they play tomorrow night but yeah Emery does make the drown in the lock even better I think they have the talent there. <clears throat> I actually think that Pittsburgh could still make a run. They're, the rest of their schedule is a whole lot easier than what they've had so far. And they still have a lot of talent, especially on defense. I liked the trade for Fitzpatrick. Hmm. They kind of have, like, all creatures, but, yeah, they kind of have just all creatures. So I saw Agent of Treachery. That's one to watch out for. Agent of Treachery can definitely be problematic. This obviously stops like the cauldron, but that's a, about it. I don't even know if I sideboard, honestly. Nothing that we have here. Cards that excite me. I mean, they. besides cauldron, are they playing... You know, they could be playing like the four mana reanimation spell or the like the five mana reanimation spell. Like maybe I want negate for that kind of thing. Like try to keep try to make it harder for Agent of Treachery to enter the enter the uh, battlefield. Maybe I'm supposed to take out the price of fames for negates. We'll kind of see here. I don't. I don't have, really have an answer for you, Arthur. Of like, why are we playing two Liliana and, and one Ugin instead of the other way around? Um, this was. These are the the two Ds next to the decks. So that means they're donation decks. That these are viewer submitted decks. So this is not a deck I built. What's up, Kurtash? Have a good. Oh, have a good night. Um, take care. So I went to Thought Erasure on turn two. 
I'm just gonna go this route. I don't I don't think we need to Gilded Goose on turn one to Thought Erasure on turn two anyway. We need to go Watery Grave into Castle. My opponent is making my Drown in the Locks better. Hmm. So this thing costs two less for each creature card in your graveyard. It's going to be hard to drown in the lock, that thing. Sure. So they have two creatures in their graveyard right now. This sleeve is a special sleeve, just give, like, they had codes given out at TwitchCon for. Well, that's unfortunate. It's unfortunate that I cracked the food token. I mean. Yeah, I want to get black mana. I will invert the world to watch kings grovel and worm. I want to get black mana with this fabled passage, so having trophy and drown in the lock works out pretty well there. So it's a game you're interested in. I guess, good chance I maybe should have just countered that. I was kind of like saving Drown, but maybe I should have just countered that Paradise Druid because that helps turn on their entire hand. All right, good chance that that was a mistake. Yeah, that that was probably yeah. There's that was probably wrong because this could turn it on. You know, could turn on, uh, they just draw it, a green source, turns on Cavalier of Thorns, and I'm tapped out put on your true currently. Shape. This could be bad. Yeah, that... I'm regretting not countering the Paradise Druid, to be honest. I'm regretting that. What if I trophy this Temple of Malady? It's not poison. Trust me. That's probably unnecessary, right? <laughs> you cannot run or hide. Should probably save trophy for this cauldron. Yeah, almost at 2,000 viewers. Y'all are amazing. Get that scry in. Uh, 
So we get to draw an extra card here, only lose two life. All right, so do I have lethal here? So if I if I kill a wolf, put a counter here, we have three, four, five attackers. They all get plus three, plus three, and have trample. So uh, four of them are two power, so that those four will be five. So four times five is 20. And then an extra six, so 26 trample. Looks like lethal to me. We can make another six, I guess. We have we have this thing. Join the stampede, my companions. Oh dear. So I guess I didn't really need to even trophy that cauldron. Okay. We are 4 0. Y'all know what that means. That means it is final boss time. What's up, Tsunami? Thank you so much for that support, Tsunami. I really appreciate that. You are awesome. Thanks. The food should have had trample. They should have they should have had trample. Alright, so in our in our league here, we're at four wins. Right now at four wins you can get this amount of gold, which is seventeen hundred. If you get five if we win, we get to five wins, which gets us twenty one hundred gold. All of that. So that's the difference between seventeen hundred and twenty one hundred visually. Doesn't make a lot of sense. But we get we just we have a pack. Let's crack it open. Mythic, ah, a rare, and the worst rare, Spyglass. We already got four Spyglasses. Oh, well. All right, final boss time. Let's get that final boss playlist. We got our own music playlist for the final bosses. Here we go. We have an extra, we have an extra life because you have to lose twice to be out. It costs a thousand gold to enter. So we got an extra life. Yeah, it's new art, so it's a new yes. So you don't get gems or anything, because you know maybe you want the new art. All right, got our water, got our uh, thought erasure on turn two. Uh, probably not biscuits. I'm probably not gonna get it. Like, I would like to play Final Fantasy VII next year for sure but i don't think i'm gonna get a ps4 to do it you make your gold back for two wins uh one so it costs a thousand to enter one win you get 500 gold two wins you get a thousand gold so you make your you make your gold back for two wins huh so i guess we're gonna take sahili and crackling drake Keep that. And then three wins is 1,500 gold. Does that sound right? And then four wins is 1,700? Maybe three wins isn't 1,500. Oh, gosh. Niv-Mizzet? Can't ever beat that card. I mean, I can. Encounter it. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. Um, Drowning Lock's good, but honestly, I want. I want to find threats. I want to find a way to win the game. <laughs> yeah, countering Niv Mizzet is perilous. Doesn't 
doesn't work too well. All right, so they have unsummon for their Terry Mander. If I ritual. I still think I'm going to do with that. Because I want to get cards out of my hand with this castle. Anyway. So, yeah, like, we're trading one for one. We're trading Ritual of Soot for Unsummon. Ritual of Soot's not real great in this matchup anyway. So if I draw a card, we lose four life. But I don't really want a trophy and give them more lands. That's a problem. Lose four life to castle. That thing's whatever. I didn't play the Fable Passage to thin the deck of lands that turn because I wanted to play the, the tap land. Um, I, I like getting the tap lands into play. All right, the old Mana Flood versus Mana Screw. It's a bad time to have Assassin's Trophy when your opponent doesn't have lands and you just turn on their hand. Last card protection. It's really annoying. It's quite annoying. Hate giving them lands into into Nivmizet. I really do. What's going to happen there? How do triggers work if they are stacked by opponent and you at the same time on your turn? Uh, the active players go on the stack first. So when it's your turn, your triggers go on the stack first. Then then the other players go on the stack second. And so the players whose triggers go on the stack second, um, those will resolve first. I didn't have the double, after casting the Drown in the Lock, I didn't have double black for the castle. You're going to miss a, miss a land drop still? <laughs> Got rid of Coil Coil. They don't have any lands in their deck. They do not have any lands in their deck. Crazy. Gosh, 
feel like I shouldn't even trophy this fire mines research, even though it can do a whole lot of stuff. Ugh. If I do. I think I should draw first and take two. Instead of take one. I'll just wait. Gotta find some way to get rid of this Niv Mizzet. Alright, they kept both cards on top. So they like that other card on top also. So I'll get rid of it. Something for Niv Mizzet? That counts. Counts ish. You got a good head on those shoulders for now. Stay on the trail. Yeah, I mean they they get to rouse outburst the Garrick, though. They can outburst and do three damage to Garrick. I could have just kept the Garrick in my hand and drawn another card. That's what you sound like. You messed with the wrong woodsman. Not the best auto tapping. Too many blue green. Like, I wish we would have tapped more blue green lands and not tapped all these black sources because. Now, if I draw, I don't have the mana to, you know, I, I didn't have the mana to, like, Thought Erasure and stuff. So, I didn't, I could have done better with the tapping there. Because then we could have played this and then drawn and seen if we hit Thought Erasure. I'll be, I'll be a little sad if my top card is Thought Erasure. Nah, it's just not a land. I'm done with you. That's a good draw. March into battle and make new comrades. Yeah, I mean, we're going to be doing the sack too, but I'll, I'll let my opponent choose if they want to trade Questing Beast instead, and then I get to tick up. And, you know, I'd still draw my card. From battle to the I can't I can't attack with everything so they block something else then I have to sacrifice questing beast mm. let's keep price of fame in case of you know, give us removal in case they have, they draw. You know, like they have the the rouse outburst. You know, like they could definitely find a crackling Drake, and crackling Drake would be really scary. 
I'm going to stop on upkeep so we can upkeep the castle before we have cards in hand. Death news. Time to go. I'm just going to gain three life here with this thing. Hey, Samantha. All right, castle on upkeep. <laughs> Should have bottomed it. There's another one. We had more fame. All right, the beast got us there. We are up a game. That castle was really nice. Yeah, I was going to make a, a food token with the goose. So the trophy was like kind of awkward. I think I'm going to board out Gilded Goose. I think like this is kind of like a slower matchup where we just don't really need it. And I'm going to play one trophy, one thought distortion. And two negates. We're going to go with that. All right, here we go. <laughs> yeah, that was game one. Oh, I could have taken out the Soot. It does kill the Terry Mander, but that's about it. So yeah, I could have taken out Soot. But it'll be it'll be removal for Terry Mander. Yeah, I kind of forgot about that card. Probably should have taken it out. So our mana's a little awkward here. Castle tap, fabled tap. Doesn't matter though. Doesn't matter. Deck's too strong. Our opponent mulled to five, and I guess their five card hand was terrible, and they just decided to quit instead of mulling to four. And there we go. That's a 5 0. 5 0. Claim our prize. Get some gems. And some sprite. All right, the Soul Tide deck felt pretty good. It really did. Like, you know, I was worried about Drown in the Lock, but Drown in the Lock was really impressive. Price of Fame did some good work for us. You know, we got to, like, one game that we won was, like, Price of Fame was a huge part of it, having turn, you know, with the two mana, having two mana to kill, kill Questing Beast and then Surveil 2, but just the Surveil 2 part. Yeah, it did pretty good, just kind of all the way around. I do think that, like, Golgari Queen would have been a, a really good card to have. I'm not sure if we fit in Golgari Queen, like, maybe, like, over the Ritual of Soot. The Ritual of Soot wasn't great. It was okay. It wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. It got to kill some stuff. Um, um, I could see the deck having one Black Castle, one Blue Castle. I could see that. Getting the, the scry two in there. I don't like Witch's Vengeance, like at all. I don't I don't like I don't think that this is like I don't think there's enough tribal decks right now for that card. Like I think the Ritual of Soot is just gonna be a more impactful card as far as sideboard goes. Like I wouldn't mind having a, a second Ritual of Soot and then like a Golgari Queen over there. Golgari Queen's just pretty nice these days with all the three mana planeswalkers running around. Yeah, the questing beasts were awesome. Questing beasts were awesome. The planeswalkers were very good. Garrick was very good. We never played Ugin. We didn't play Ugin. Um, and I don't know if we need Ugin. Like, I don't know if we need 
a fifth six mana planeswalker honestly like the lilianas and the garricks kind of get us there maybe that's how you fit a, a golgari queen in the main maybe you take out ugin but you know maybe not also like i don't i don't know i don't know if that's an upgrade i don't know if this is an upgrade i don't know i'm not sure um But mono black is good, LB. I don't know. I don't know. What do you mean? No. Oh. Yeah, two weeks ago when you were asking about mono black, I was talking about like with, with that specific mono black control build. Uh, we played a mono black like mid-range type mono black value that I liked quite a bit. Played that before. Yeah, Oko's amazing. Just Oko, Questing Beast, Murderous Rider was great. Um, but yeah, John Locke, Thought Erasure, obviously. Like, this card's just amazing. So yeah, there's just, like, good cards in here. So, you know, Golgari Queen's, like, another card to think about. You know, maybe over Soot or Ugin, or, you know, maybe having it in the sideboard. And, like, I just don't like those Witch's Vengeances. You know, but maybe you don't need, like, three Soots total. So, um, you know, maybe you can have this in the main and you and don't have Soot in the main kind of thing. Um, but, you know, maybe you want your main deck sweeper. I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. So that's, that's something to kind of... Those are some spots. If you're playing this deck later on, those are some spots to uh, to consider. Um, I'm not sold on Dreadhorde Invasion at all. Like this card's necessary at all either. I, that's another card. Uh, if you if you want some different sideboard cards, you know, like if you want Veil of Summer, you know, like we don't have Veil of Summers in here. So like maybe we're we're running into like a Simic Flash deck um, or something. Maybe we should have some Veil of Summers. So that that's that's a slot there uh, that we could uh, get those in our sideboard also. Well, this deck was pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. Uh, no, our Soul Tide tokens that we played earlier that had that was a Woodland Cemetery or that was a Woodland Champion deck, and that that one was was pretty good there. But anyway, uh, if you're watching the, this video later on YouTube, please hit the like and subscribe buttons over there, and please leave some comments as well. Let me know um, what you think of the deck. If you're playing the deck yourself, let me know how it's going for you. What you're doing, like what's working well for you in the deck. What what are you struggling against? Um, you know, what cards you like, don't like that kind of stuff. Also, you know, give me some feedback over there. Yeah. Murderous ride rider is good, but thank you so much for watching some soul time mid range and I'll see you for the next video.